Hi, I'm Vicki Eisenstein with ID8 TV, and today I'm with Erin O'Neill of the Women Divers Hall of Fame. Erin, why don't you tell me a little bit about the organization? The organization is phenomenal. Uh, we, uh, you know, you get together a bunch of accomplished women, and they can't just sit there and just be honored. So they said, what can we do to... Uh, something great for the dive industry and right away started coming up with scholarships and training grants and we are now 22 23 years old and we have just this year given away seventy thousand dollars annually in training grants uh, learning to die all kinds of training grants all levels and also scholarships in the marine sciences so it's an incredibly vital organization and uh, we have We've been averaging that number for quite a few years, a decade or more, so it's pretty exciting. I have material that we can give you on this year's uh, winners. I love that. That's awesome. So now you were one of the first classes, right? Yes, the first one in 2000, yes. So there, there, was, a, there was a men's hall of fame, uh, or a hall of fame, but it was really a male club. And very few women were asked to join in. You all know who they were. It's Sylvia Earle, Jeannie Clark, and Zale Perry. And that was it. And no matter all the thousands of women who were doing remarkable things in diving. So a gentleman on the East Coast um, had the idea that he was going to, in the turn of the millennium, he was going to honor the accomplished women divers in the country. And he chose, he sent out ambassadors throughout the country and they chose uh, a handful of women. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think the original class was, um, I don't know how many, but mm -hmm. certainly much larger than the ones we do now. Mm -hmm. But uh, so we were honored and uh, I was pinned at the Naui 50th anniversary, I think, in Houston, Texas originally. So this is our pin and- uh, It's really cute. Okay. I know, it's really pretty, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? So, um, and we have just become this vital, organized, important organization in the world of diving. And it encompasses women who run the range from science and sport diving and arts and everything. That's awesome. How did you yourself get into diving? I hardly know where to start. Okay. It's, it's such a long history. Okay. But I was a water person and a, a swimmer and a lifeguard and all that. And I was in Galveston, Texas. I grew up on the Gulf Coast and uh, started experimenting with that. And this was in the late 50s. <laughs> and uh, just uh, just played with it for years and then got certified uh, by CMOS in the 70s and became a LA County instructor and a now instructor in uh, around 1980. Gotcha, that's amazing. Um, wow, lots of experience. <laughs> yeah. So where's your favorite place ever been to dive? Actually, I'm going to surprise you when I tell you California has the greatest diving. You are like the second person to tell me that, though. That's wild. <laughs> yes, we have the most. In fact, when I first stuck my face down in that ocean at Catalina and saw that golden kelp in that blue water, I went, I don't ever want to leave here. Okay, well, that does it. I have to go try Catalina Island and scuba dive there. It's chilly, though. It's chilly. Oh, okay. It's A lot of people only like to do warm weather, warm water diving, and I like it, too. But I love our West Coast diving. I love it, yeah. So cool. So if anybody wants to find out more about this Women's Hall of Fame, where should they look? Oh, well, we have a website, www.wdhof.org. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you so much, Erin. It was great to get to know more about you and this organization. Well. I've been Vicki Eisenstein with ID8 TV, and definitely check out their website. <laughs>